Okay, and we're back for part two of uh, of the video where we're upload where we're updating the listing, and I got some images ready. So we were at the image screen, the uh, image upload screen when we last left off. Uh, just to update really fast, uh, we got here. We were on the edit listing screen. We clicked add media, and we clicked upload files. We're gonna upload. Couple, we're gonna upload a couple of images. You can just drag and drop onto this screen. Okay, so here's the uh, the images that we added, and that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna add those images, and then we're gonna close out. We're not gonna actually insert into post. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna add them into the post in any way. Now, we're gonna see what that did. So we are going to update. We're going to click update and that saves our changes. And always make sure you know what you did before you uh, click update. You don't want to go saving any uh, any changes that you didn't need to make. So uh, you see here the test listing is blank. We're going to update by refreshing. It's still going to be blank because I don't have a uh, featured image but we're going to have images in the slider, which is uh, the two that I just added. So uh, we didn't insert anything. We just uploaded them and then closed out of the upload window. And this is what we got. This is our slider image. And they're in the order, and this is important to know, uh, they're in the order uh, that I uploaded them. So when I dragged and dropped those pictures over, uh, this first box, this mountain scene, this was the uh, first one that I dragged over. And then the second box down here, the second slide, was the second one that I dragged over. Uh, the only way that you can reorder this is by going in and, uh, and deleting all your photos and adding them again. And uh, I can do that in a, uh, in a separate video if you want, uh, upon request. So that's that, but we need to uh, look in here. So this error right here, this is just because we don't have a price. So uh, let's update the rest of this and get some information on this side. That was just uh, showing you how to add into the uh, slider. Okay, so now uh, to get that error out of there, we're going to make sure that we have a price in there. and we'll click save in a little bit. So we're just going to type in some random information to show you where it's going to come up. And just to get some stuff in there. And you can edit this in here um, visually. I, uh, I write HTML. Those are just paragraph tags that I put in there. So that's fine. And we'll put a little heading on there. And you could put a map or whatever other short code that you want to put in here to uh, design the listing. This is uh, just for example purposes, showing you how to get something in there. So now after we added this information in this box here, we are going to go and take a look at what effect that had on our listing. Uh, we entered the price 
Uh, we didn't save yet though. So we're going to click save or update, sorry, but that's what it is. It's save. And it's going to be really slow because my internet is bad today. And then we're going to go back and look at the listing that we're actually altering, which is the test listing. And the price came in and the error went away because I was looking for a price. Um, here's the information that we uh, put in in the, uh, in the screen before that we uh, typed into this, uh, to this box here. And you don't have anything underneath it. Now let's uh, let's go take a look at that. So when you get your links to your virtual tour and your video tour, I'm just going to put in uh, just grab any website. I'll just copy that out. So we have the whole HTTP. So I'm lazy and didn't feel like typing it. Okay, uh, video tour URL, virtual tour URL. We're just putting uh, example links in there. We have our price in there. You could set all your other information, as you probably already know. Uh, so we're going to click update and see what effect that has. Putting in links. And then we'll do uh, the featured image last. So we're here and we got to update this listing because we just made some changes. And you see the buttons were added. So uh, those are conditional. They only show up when you have a link entered in the, uh, in the box. Okay, so now if you go back to uh, the main listings page, you see that this is still blank, so let's fix that. And we're going to use uh, this road scene, the stock image that I had. We're going to try to at least. Okay, uh, set that as a featured image. All I did was uh, just click there and picked an image and said set it as a featured image. We're going to click update. And this is the final task we're going to do here on this listing. And uh, yeah, we're going to click update. Uh, we're going to refresh this window. And it's going to load. And you see the uh, the featured image that we added, that road image. There's our price. And just to review, those slider images got in there because we just uploaded them to the post, didn't insert them. This content here is uh, is this content here. And I'm noticing that heading is, uh, that's a change I'll make. That heading is, uh, is the wrong color. You could just see it faintly there. So uh, it's just a quick change that I have to make. Anyway, that's how the, uh, that's how the content gets into a listing. And hope that helps you. Thank you.